Nation. Yes, yes. Shout out to everybody in the building already. Yes, man. My brother Terrence and Christian. Shout out to everybody on Facebook watching right now. Shout out to John Does. He said, what's up, Nation? New subscriber here, man. Loving the brotherhood in the chat. This is Raider Nation, the only nation. Shout out to my guy. Jamie's in the building. Just letting you guys know, just a heads up, we may have to do this show on our own tonight. I'm not positive um, if Sharice is going to be able to. Oh, you know what? We lit. Never mind. We, we good. We good. We good. We good. Hold on real quick. <laughs> I see my guy in the background. I was like, hold on, hold on, buddy, go pull up. But uh, hold on, let's talk about it, man. Shout out to everybody in the, uh, in the chat. Shout out to Quentin, man, Jamal, SJ, J.A. Raider, man. Let's salute one of our brothers, former cornerback, Sharice Wright, man. What's good with you, bro? What's the deal, man? What's the deal? What's um, the deal? I was literally about I'm like, I don't know if it's going to happen, man. <laughs> I don't know if Sharice is going to pop in, but what's good with you, bro? It's good, man. I actually had a, had a client right now. I ran my cars out. Man, I just bought a car, so I rented it out. That's uh, what's up, bro. Another little, another little business venture, man. So I love it, they man. Just, they just put up. Get that money, man. Get that money, yeah. my brother. Hey, so how is life, man? How's life treating you right now? I know you got a lot of stuff going. Are you back home now? Or are you still in Houston? Uh, nah, I'm I'm back in Cali, man. Uh, okay. Back in Cali, I live. I actually live in LA. Dope. Yeah, dope. yeah, yeah. Are, yeah. are you still Are you still looking at a potential comeback, or are you Are you chilling? <laughs> Nah, man. Uh, my my first couple years, I thought about it. You know what I mean. My first first two years out of the league, I still had a few workouts. Yeah. Uh, that I had went to went on man in Arizona and Denver. Um, had a couple of the calls that I entertained, man. But yeah. my mind was made up, man. When it when it was time for me to to call it quits, it, it was time. You know, I entertained it a little bit just because the love of the game that I had yeah. and just you know missing it and. You know, missing that that those teammates and missing being around the team and yeah. you know what I mean and competing every day, being around a, a bunch of guys that's that's competitive. Um, you know what I mean? That's the competitive nature. I can only that, imagine, bro. I yeah, mean, imagine being around a bunch of guys, man, that that been competing their whole life, man, and to to be the best. You know what I yeah. mean? And, and got money, and, and it's a different life. It's a different type of different type of circle of people that you're around when you when you in the NFL man it, it keep you on your toes Facts. you know what I mean keep you keep you on your game this is another former uh Raider DB right here man Stuart Schweiger he said much respect to Sharice man Shout appreciate to it Stu. yeah appreciate definitely it, in the man. chat man appreciate it. So he went to Purdue you went to USC for those who don't know and uh, and, and, and you know we got a lot of young guys as well um I know the whole spiel I've been I've been following the game for a while me and you were actually introduced um, through my brother L Fingers. Right. Much on some music shit. You know what right, I'm saying? Like, right, right. We just saw some music shit and then we kind of just started vibing and talking. I know we, uh, at one point in Houston, I went down there for a battle rap event. We was going to link up, but you had stuff, I had stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, for those who don't know, man, let, let them know about you. Who is Sharice Wright, man? Who I, I know you, I know, I know you from Southern California, <laughs> San Bernardino boy, Colton, Colton, right? Coat, coat. I mean, I was born in San Bernardino. Uh, I was, I was, I grew up in San Bernardino early on, and I moved to Colt when I was in the third grade. Okay. Um, so I really, I really rep, I rep both. You know what I mean? Yeah. I rep, I rep San Bernardino because that's just where I was born. Yeah. And my mom just. Oh, oh, you went on mute. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. There you go. There you go. You back. You back. Yeah. I mean, let me turn my uh, so nobody can't call me. I'm on my phone, so. That's all good. Do your thing, buddy. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. If you guys want to get some questions in, throw some questions in. I'll definitely put them up on the screen. We are talking to former NFL cornerback Sharice Wright, USC My back guy. Uh, yeah, you, you're good, but I can't see you. Okay. All right, let's just do that. Yeah, I know when them calls when them calls come in, it completely cuts off the vocals, so you can't. Oh, hear them. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me but see. You good, though. There you go. You you coming in now? Let me see. Nope, no, it's still playing. Shout out to OG in the chat, man. What's up, Graf? What's good with you, my brother? What's good with you, Bass? I like that question. We're definitely gonna talk about that. Definitely. Let, let, let my brother. I, I don't even. I don't even know what's going on, man. Why? Why I ain't coming back? Can you hear me though? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, yeah, definitely. Like I said, my mom, she uh the the we was renting the house in San Bernardino, she lost the owner. Yo. Damn. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Really? Um, yeah, so we then we moved to Colton, man, when I was like in the third grade. I've been there. I went to Colton High School, um, obviously USC. Yeah. Um, from there on to San Diego, was there for four years. Uh, signed a deal with the 49ers. Um, things didn't work out there. I uh, had to get up out of there, man, and uh, <laughs> left there. Uh, and you I were I was supposed really to be a Niner anyway, man. You were supposed I, to be a Niner. I, I was, man. The thing, about, the thing about the Raiders, I always tell people, man, when I was coming to get drafted, they drafted Van Dyke over me, uh, the Marcus Van Dyke. And all you Raider fans know that guy. Yeah. And that was my boy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I played with him in the senior bowl. And I, I tried telling the Raiders, man, that, that, that they called me probably like three, four days before the draft. And they talked to me about, you know, them liking Van Dyke because he ran a little bit faster than me. Uh, I tried telling them, I'm like, man, it's, it's, it's a difference between being fast and being a football player. You know what I mean? And, and guys that could just run. You know, I try so, to sell myself to them. But it didn't work. Growing up down there, though, did, did you who did you grow up liking? Who was you a fan of? I grew up watching the Raiders. My 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 stepdad actually was a Raiders fan. He the okay. one that introduced me to football, like watching football. His his brother was they lived in Kansas City, so he was a Chiefs fan. So obviously they played twice a year. Yeah, so yeah. That, that every every twice twice on Sundays, <laughs> two Sundays out of the year, it, it was fun. We was calling him. We was talking. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was going yeah. up in the house. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of where it started being a Raider. I try to I explain this all to him, man. I'm like, man, if my city, my whole city of Colton is all Raider fans. That's a, yeah. it's a it's a Hispanic dominant city. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of Hispanics who who love the Raiders, diehard Raider fans. I'm like, man, if I if I go to the Raiders, my jersey sales gonna go out the roof. <laughs> you know what I mean? The day I get drafted, you know what I mean? And I was like, season ticket holders, they gonna be there, but. It didn't happen. I, and I, I said I went to the – I actually ended up signing with the Raiders. You know what I mean? And things just work out that way. It didn't work out again yeah. out there, but it hey, is what played, it is, man. You played you played a long career, though, man. I mean hey, – I did. Hey, you know, hey, in the NFL, man, the shelf life is so short, brother. I think – what would you have, seven, eight years? I played eight, man, eight years. Yeah, yeah and, and so you officially just retired. I mean, I know, I know you're 34, you know what I mean? Yes. So – you know, and, and, and it's sad because you're young, but in NFL years, people are like, you're 34, you a DB. Right. You know what I mean, but there's still some DBs out there that's, you know, that's 34, 35. Hey, hey, motherfuckers be lingering, man. They still got yeah, some they games. Do. The th hey. they, and a lot of those guys probably were, they probably, when they came out, they were probably 4'3 guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You yeah. got guys who were like 4'3 speed. So right now, they're probably like a 4'6, four, four, you know what I mean, at 34 years old. I, I'm just Four saying, I, I can see you in Gus Bradley's system I right mean, now. I, I'm, I'm just listen, saying. Listen, I, I, man, I, I feel like physically I could definitely play the game still physically. Yeah. But it was for me, it was a mental, it was a mental side of it that, and I told myself once I, once I, once I lose the love for, for the, for the NFL itself, yeah. you yeah. know what I mean? It's time yeah. for me to go. I don't have any more to offer as far as my effort and my energy, my time. Yep. You know what I mean? Away from my family, away from my son. It was just, it, it wasn't for me. It was my son was getting older. I was losing time away from him and just. Somebody call you? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Take your time, bro. Take yeah, your time. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so it's just one of those scenes where. I told myself, man, when I, when I really feel that way, I'm not going to let the money play a factor. I'm not yeah. going to let nothing else play a factor because, you know, if I'm not willing to give it my all and give it a. They blowing you up today, Sharice. Hey, you that dude, bro. I mean, and be that guy out there that's so, just doing it for a check. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this. Chargers, Niners, uh, Ravens, Bills, sign with us. Uh, ended your career with Houston, right? Yes. So Sebastian asked, what was the toughest opponent you played against? The toughest opponent in my career, man, I would have to say. <laughs> hey, my boy, a popular boy, man. I, I, I like that shit. He going to pop back in, y'all. He going to pop back in. He going to pop back in. 
for those who don't know, man, Sharice got a lot of stuff going on outside outside of football, man. You know what I mean? He runs some businesses. There's a lot of charity work, man. So we're definitely going to get you guys' questions in right now. He's trying to put his phone on, uh, on Do Not Disturb right now. So just give us a second. My apologies, you guys. We'll definitely get this, uh, get this right. We'll definitely get this right. So get those questions in the comment section. And while you're doing that, make sure to wipe them feet. Hit that thumbs up, you guys. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. We're definitely going to bring it up. And I like Stu's question as well. There we go, Sharice. We good, bro. We good. Yeah, but my, my biggest competition, man, my heart, I would have to say Demarius Thomas and Peyton Manning, man, when they was, okay. was dueled up over there in, in Denver. It, it was probably and only because I had to play them twice a year. I yeah. had to match up against the Marius. And, 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 and Peyton Manning was just good. He was a good quarterback. I played against a lot of good receivers, A.J. Green. I played against, you know, Amari Cooper, all those guys. And, and it's just when you got a quarterback and a receiver duo that, that – that, yeah. and they were playing well at the time. They won the Super Bowl back then. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. they're, they're a good tandem. Um, and like I said, I had to match up against a guy who was – 240 pounds you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> he, was, he could run he was fast he was physical Monster. and yeah. every it's like it's like when he played against me he was a different guy all of a sudden i watch <laughs> him on film and then i'll play against him and he just he was just a different person you know what i mean he just, was, was, was there somebody specific in college that you used to match up against that you like man i know this guy is going to be great at the next level ah <sighs> Nah, man, I, I really didn't see too many, like, great receivers coming out, you know what I mean, out the Pac-12, really. Talk that shit, bro. <laughs> it really it really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It yeah. wasn't It wasn't really that. wasn't really nobody that I went against but it was like, dang, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It, it, we, had, we played against – Oregon had a good team my senior year, but it, even them, they didn't have no receivers that, that did anything. Yeah. Um, you know, that was that was just probably the problem. It, it Pac-12, it wasn't too many – all the receivers were, were on the all the way on the other side of the country yeah. balling. You know what I mean? Let me, let me ask time. you this. Growing up in Southern California, I mean, I know going into USC was probably your dream, right? Um, but like what, what other schools did you what, what other offers did you get that were on the table? I, I had I had offers from every college, man, coming out. I, besides the Ivy League schools. Yeah. Besides yeah, yeah. Notre Dame and yeah. And Stanford and teams like that, but other than that, I could have went. I was the number two corner of the nation coming out of high school, so you Love know that. what I mean. So yeah. it, it, I got my first offer from Nebraska, and uh, from there, you know, they started pouring in. But yeah. a lot of teams wanted me to play offense um, back then. You know what I mean? That was kind of like the yeah. the problem back then. I didn't really, I didn't want to play offense, so I, I eliminated a lot of teams. Just them <laughs> wanted me to play offense, but. I like that you mentioned the offense because Stuart uh, Schweiger, man, he asked uh, with rushing for 1,094 yards in 2005 and a 14.1 average per carry with 16 TDs, was there any thought of offense in college? Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. He's doing definitely. Totally. He's <laughs> yeah, and, he, and those stats are accurate from what I can remember. And, and you guys are both former third-round draft picks. That's what's right. so dope. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. And it, it definitely was, man. But when I thought about, like, longevity – I didn't like getting hit. That was like the biggest thing. And I, I was, I, I can't control an offense. You can't control when you get hit, how you get hit. You know what I mean? How hard yeah. they hit you. And you yeah. can't always juke people. And I wasn't a big guy. I was, I was, I was probably my senior year. I probably got to like 185, 190. Um, we ran yeah. a double wing offense. So it wasn't like yeah. it was in some, I was a tailback back there in the I formation. Yeah. Getting the ball I was in a double wing, a lot of misdirection, mm -hmm. a lot of counters, and things like that. It, it's different in college. That's not, you know, what I mean, that's not unless I went to what well, they do that at Army or something like that, <laughs> <laughs> where they still do the double wing. But um, other than that, I mean, defense was just it for me. I, I wanted to hit people. I figure yeah. I can, I can last a little longer. I can dictate how hard I'm hitting somebody, how I'm hitting somebody. You know what I mean? And, That's that and, Cali in you, man. Yeah, hey, just being hey. a dog, man. Just being a savage on the hip. That was one of yeah. my biggest things, being physical, man, hitting yeah. hard. That was, like, one of my big – it wasn't getting interceptions, clearly, but it was just being a tough player, man, being a hard player, playing wow. harder than everybody else and being physical. Right, right. you wants to know who you hated the most, the Broncos, the Chiefs, or the Chargers. I know it's not going to be the Chargers because they, they drafted you. They drafted they me. They gave right. you your first chance, so I know that they that that's out. It was the Raiders, man. Oh, you hated us the most. <laughs> they didn't draft me, man. Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> yeah, 
was bad oh. blood. It was oh, bad shit. blood after that, man. They took the, they took Van Dyke over me, man. Come on. You forever held on to that app. Hey, I'm never going to let that go, man. And like I said, it's the fact that they called me three days before the draft and, like, had this conversation. Like, the DB <laughs> coach at the time was like, man, I'm really pushing for you. But, you know, they – they I'm like, man, if y'all draft that Van Dyke over me, no offense. That's my boy. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, that is funny, I lasted man. a little bit longer than he did. You know what I mean? And I think I could have helped the Raiders a little bit more than he did at that time. <laughs> Everybody in the comments like, talk that shit, man. Man, talk. but that's just the truth, man. I, but <laughs> they made up for it when they signed me, and then they they brought that back when they when they when John Gruden line ass cut me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, talk that shit. Yeah, that, that, that guy's a liar. <laughs> no, no, he's a. Tr- hey, bro, I, we're gonna get back to that. Shout out to Mike Hawk real quick. He said my high school coach was Coach Boyd. He used to coach Fontana High School, and he said he used to hate matching up against you. Oh yeah, Fontana, man. They they wasn't. They they weren't they weren't that good back then either. So we used to we used to run through them for sure. That was that was one of our Julie hey, Julius said you ever get hit stick, bro? And if so, who was it? Who was somebody that just man, you? believe it or not, I'm sure they didn't seen it before. Man, Andrew Luck, I believe, hit stick me, man. On, on a, I was picking up a fumble. Thought I was I was about to That's get a my big boy though. He's yeah, a big he boy. was he was a big dude. He was two twenty two two something yeah. for sure. And, and when he hit me, I didn't even feel it, but he hit me hard though. It hit Damn. me hard. I fumbled the ball and everything, man. <laughs> where where were you at that time? I was uh I was at SC. We was playing against Stanford, and it was a fumble. I was going to pick the fumble up, and he had did like a toss play or something. It was a fumble, and he came out. Of, I didn't even expect for him to be there. I was about to pick up the ball, get my Dion on, and <laughs> he came out of nowhere, man. And and it was it was like one. It was part of his highlight reel when he was coming out for the draft. It was. Yeah. It, it was on his highlight reel for sure. Shout out to Eddie. He said, "R.I.P. Coach Strauss." Yeah, man. Rest in peace, Coach Strauss. Man, one of the best high school coaches to to ever ever live. Man, for sure. Man, one of the best. Rest now, in I need to hear Coach what you. Was, well, I, I got to hear what you were saying, man. You were saying something about Gruden, right? Man, Gruden is Gruden is a feel, fraud. <laughs> how you feel about Gruden, man? Let, let me go. Let me Honestly, go. I mean, he he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't the most most honest person he was he was he was hype man like honestly he was he was he was a good salesman i would say you know what i mean mm-hmm. he, he would talk a good talk and you know what i mean he had that about him but he wasn't really what he made out to be honestly as 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 a as a man and being like a you know being honest in this business it ain't, ain't it ain't about that i guess yeah. you know what i mean the nfl yeah. which which made it hard for me to continue to to stick around when I got to deal with, with things like that, where it's just, we yeah. grown ass man, just be honest and, and keep it real. You know what I mean? Don't, don't sugarcoat. Don't lie to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Don't make me think something or try to make me think something that it ain't. You know what I mean? Just be real. And I, and I Bro, came to him like that. Yeah. But you're one of the many people that has said that though. Yeah, like, definitely. So, so, you know what I'm I mean? Sure. Especially Ke- Keyshawn Johnson has, has been speaking out about that for years and everybody wanted to beat him up about it. But it's it's crazy to hear hear from other people. So I mean, the truth, man, it, it's the truth. And I say he couldn't even look when he cut me. He couldn't even sit down and look me in my eye. They waited till I flew home. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Till I got home and want to call me and cut me. You want to tell me I'm not making the team? Why you couldn't do that when I was there? You knew already, yeah. but you was yeah. telling me, "Oh, you gonna be on this team? Don't worry about it." It's what you telling me during camp when I'm like Gruden. If you ain't got no plans for me, let me go right now. Don't even waste my time. Keep yeah. me here. Let me get on before they everybody else get cut. You know what I mean? Now I'm in a pot yeah. full of a bunch of guys. Let me go right now if you don't got no plans for me. But he lied and lied. Even when he before he signed me, he called me, hyping it up, talking about we need to get you back to the West Coast, man. You, be, you belong on the Raiders. And then they signed. They said I was going to be the only guy in my position that they signed. And then I think they signed um, – they signed uh what's this is name? 2018 too chat just like y'all right know, right right yeah. they signed um the the d coordinator brought in his guy from cincinnati oh yeah uh, yeah uh, he brought uh, in um oh my paul God. yeah paul paul got the brought in uh hall and, bro, he, and that his last name hall or uh yes bro yes, yes. Bro. Oh, brought him God. in and we bro. were the same guys kind of in the same position you know what i mean and they told me, oh, before I signed with some, it's, 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 it's Leon of, Hall. Leon Hall. It was it was it was out of two of y'all, man. And and he was like, if you sign, we're not gonna sign the other guy. So let us know. I signed. You know, I'm like, yeah, I come, I play. At this yeah. point, I was already, 
you know, trying to figure out what I was going to do. But I'm like, if I told myself I can go back home and play and play for a California team, I'll play again. I didn't want to go far away from home. And, you know what I'm saying? And my, I, I had owned a business at the time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I was missing time with my business. And it was one of those things where, like, you know, I'm losing. You know what I mean? Because I remember even when you were in Houston, you were going back and forth. I know I want to talk about that, too, because I know you have a lot going on in the community. I know you do a lot. Right. You know I mean, back in your hometown and stuff. Uh, you you have any 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 foundations or anything that we can we can we can talk about or anything that you 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 stand behind so we can yeah I have, I have I have Rod House Foundation that's that's my nonprofit organization okay that I created back in 2011 um, that I founded in 2011 man and originally started because I wanted to do juvenile group homes yeah um, you know what I'm saying I just wanted to provide provide homes for 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 the underprivileged and these juveniles who you know are in foster care and things like that and and be able to 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 get them hands on right like get them and get them in a the house and have them full time to where I could really impact and change their life you know what i mean like having them for a couple of hours is is not enough in a sense you know what i mean i want to teach them you know skills teach them about every about having a having a house, having a home, growing up in a home and yeah. all those things that matter and just give them that comfort that, that, that they, that kids are looking for. You know what I mean? When they're in that situation, um, you I know, want to talk to you about that. I, I would love for us because we, we have a, such a fire community, bro, that gets behind a lot of different things. Right. And if we can create something, you know what I mean? To bring, to just bring awareness or whatever we can. I would love to talk to you behind the scenes and, and try yeah, to definitely. How, how we can come together and do something for that. That would be great. I yeah, know we definitely can. We're working on something right now with the Darren Waller Foundation as well. So any anything that we can do to just raise some awareness, bring some impact. I, look, man. I'm yeah, definitely. Um, shout out to Q, man. He said, who is the biggest trash talking wide receiver you ever faced? The biggest trash talking wide receiver I ever faced. Man. I, know, I, know I would have to talking. say, like, I would have to say, like, Mike Wallace. Okay, Mike, Mike Wallace. We we had our we had our battles. Uh, Mike Wallace. Mike, Mike Wallace was a, he was a trash talker for sure. Yeah. Uh, who else did I go at it with, man? Damn, Mike Wallace though. I, 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 you know this was this was the back in when when these guys were were that was, was the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Him and, uh, him and uh, uh, J uh, Jack, man, uh, Jack Rabbit. Oh yeah, Don Jackson, man, bro. I just dropped a video on D Jacks today because you know he just asked the Rams to uh to let him go. He wants to go somewhere else. Oh really? Yeah, he asked. Basically, he's just he's just sick of not being. Um, he's he's only been out there I think twenty eight percent of the snaps of this season. So he wants you know he's he's at the end of his career. He wants to play a little more. So, right. Uh, you know he, he asked them if he goes to find a trade, would they would they oblige? And they said yes. So. I mean, there's some teams out there that need a receiver right now. And yeah, he uh, can still run. He's one of those guys who are so fast that he's yeah. still fast at this yeah. point of his, of his career. It's going on year 12, 13. Yeah. Probably. And he's 30, he's 34. He's 34 and, and yeah. he's healthy. He's healthy right now, bro. He's already had two plays this year for I think 85 and 60 right, yards. Right, right, right. So I remember seeing them. Yeah, he still makes big plays. You know what right. I mean? So, Okay, D Jax. Yeah, and, and it's funny because I know you guys got that Southern California connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know definitely. I mean? so, and he yeah. went to Cal, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, what yeah. I mean? yeah. He wished he could have went to USC, but guys. <laughs> <laughs> anybody in the Pac 10, man, and the back then in the Pac 10, if you if you didn't go to USC, is it is one of those things you probably couldn't go there because it's like, why wouldn't you? People ask why I'm like, man, SC was a team to go to, especially being a West Coast kid. It was yeah. back then. It was it was a Pete Carroll was. I'm a, I'm a Notre Dame guy, you know what I mean? So I mean, you can't go wrong <laughs> with Notre Dame either. That's a whole nother whole nother league yeah. within itself. Hey, Tim Brown. You know, I'm from Northern California. Yeah. But I, Tim Brown was just my favorite athlete of all time. So right. anything he was rocking with, I was rocking with. Right, you know right, I mean? right. That makes sense. Yeah, fact. Shout to Raider P. He says Colton High School's up in this bitch. Shout yeah, to definitely. Man. What's up, bro? Um, I'm telling you, Colton, High, Colton, man, they're full of Raider fans, man. I'm telling yeah. you, it's, it's so many of them. It's not even funny. Definitely. Uh, the uh, Stewart said the Bush push. Oh, shit. Yeah, I wasn't there for that, but that was against Notre Dame. <laughs> hey, hey, do you think do you think that he's the greatest one or top three greatest college uh, players of all time? That right? I've ever seen. Yeah. That, I, that I've ever seen. Yeah. I, like, I, I, that's the best. I mean, as far as being like an athlete, 
man, it's hard to see. I mean, to say that he's not. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just the things he was doing on that field, man. He he really he really made watching football exciting. You know what I'm saying? It was exciting yeah. watching that man play football. Can't take that away from him. You still go to your old alma mater sometimes? And, and, I'm going tomorrow, man. I'm taking my son tomorrow, man. It's just, it's homecoming tomorrow, so that's dope, bro. I, I'll be in that thing tomorrow, man. Playing against Arizona. That is dope. Shout to um, shout out to Mike. He says so from the uh the nine five one. Yeah, nine five one. Uh huh. Shout out to everybody, man. Yeah, everybody, man. We already know about we about we know about the murder, man. We know yeah, about yeah. It. You know, like, <laughs> you know, yeah, man. Shout out to it. Um, what what businesses you got going on, bro? How can we support what you got going on? Man, I got I got I got I got a few, man. <laughs> I got I got a few. I got I got a food truck, Brody Hanna's. That's that's one of my newest business ventures, man. People, my, people are putting that in the chat right now. Yeah, yeah, bro, Brody Hanna's, man. It's it's it's, it's the first black black owned hibachi, man. I like that, yeah, Brody. Man. Bro, that is that's slick, it's bro. Called Brody Hanna's, you know. That's what I'm saying? slick. Yeah, that's yeah, slick. yeah. yeah. Ah, that's a, that's so, low key a bar right there. That's yeah, it is. It is, man. It <laughs> is. We, we eventually, eventually, it's a food truck right now. Eventually, we want to go into the restaurant business. Um, you know what I'm saying? But we just want to see. You know, see how how it is in, with the food truck and, and yeah, it's a yeah, little yeah. bit, a little bit lower overhead. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and especially when we opened it, it was around COVID time, so everything was outside and everything was, you know, restaurants was closing down, so it made sense. We could just pull um, up anywhere. Yeah. To go, we could pull up anywhere. We could pull out some tables and some chairs and a tent, and people can come in and, and, and enjoy their food, and that's kind of. What we shifted to. Our Ernest wants to know what what's where's the location with that? Is it in LA? It's in it's in Fontana actually. No, nah, yeah, it's actually in Fontana. At, at uh, we we usually park it at my location that I own, which where my gym is at, uh, where okay. I'm building my gym. I have my lounge there. Um, I have my I car that. wash there. Um, my barber shop, retail store, um, music studio. You literally are doing everything that ev that every athlete should do after after football. Yeah, definitely. You, you like, bro. Like, I, I promise you, I, I'm looking at it from the standpoint of you're literally conquering everything, especially what we grew up in. in Where we grew up, exactly. the barbershop, the gym. Like, like, right. bro, we need all that shit. You know, right? What I'm we need it all. Studio. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah we like, need it is, all. That is dope, bro. I'm and, very and it's, of you, it's the same people. It's the same customer base, man. For a lot of those, I mean, there's micro businesses. The 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 the, the, the Brody Hunters is a micro business. You know what I mean? The car, the mobile details, a micro business. The barbershop also, but those are the same customers. The same customers that need a haircut, they need a car wash. You know what I mean? They need and some, some food. And some lab time. Yeah, and some lab. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? They need some food. You know what I mean? They need some studio time. You know yeah. what I mean? They they need a place to work out at. They need a haircut. They need all those things. You know what I'm saying? I have a clothing store that we sell retail clothes. You know what I'm saying? They need it. They need an outfit. It's it's one of those things where it all makes sense. You know what I mean? All and they all work together in a sense. You know what I mean? I, res I respect that, brother. Everybody in the comment section saying they're proud of you, man. Um, that's 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 living the dream to be able to give back to your community. Yeah, and, definitely. And, and still touch every every single avenue. Um, like like we said, everything that we grew up on, you know, the car wash, the barbershop, bro. If you can have every one of those, look, we can go to you for everything. And, and I'm trying to get it all in one location, man. I'm almost there, man. I, I'm all I'm a, I'm gonna do Airbnbs eventually too, like a lazy river. You know yeah. what I mean? Like a place you could go out and just chill by the pool. You know what I mean? Have a drink. You know what I mean? And, and just vibe out. Right, you. That's right, bro. We we gonna start calling Sharice Nipsey, man. Sharice Nipsey, right? Man, he inspired me a lot. That man, that man really, really inspired me for sure. He he dope, he kind of he really. I mean, he said he was trying to do the same thing in his neighborhood. You know what I mean? Yeah. And get that shopping mall and put all those stores in there. It's the same. It's the same concept. You know what I mean? Uh, he said when he said ten different businesses. That's bankroll. I remember he said that. Yep. You know what you're right. Instead that in the song, well, 10 different businesses, you know what I mean? They ain't all got to make a million, but, you, you know, well it's going to add up. You, you well on your way to it, that shit, bro. That's yeah. it. Just keep winning, brother. Keep winning, bro. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Stewart says, hey, where does Jason Seahorn rank in USC Corners? He He's 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 top. I want to, I mean, I was just thinking about that the other day. It was just crazy trying to think about, like, all the best corners that, that, yeah. that came out of SC. And it's not, it's not a lot of us, you know what I mean? We... If we get a lot of linemen, get a lot yes. of linebackers and receivers, but it's not a lot of corners 
that came out of SC who really, really held it down like that. You know what I mean? We had a lot of good college corners, but even guys like Kevin Thomas, who was a good college you a college player just in the league is just it's a lot different. You know what I mean? Like and Jason Seahorn had a great career. You know what I mean? He he he's up there I wanna say top five, maybe. You know what I mean? Definitely. Ronnie Lott just Yeah, Ronnie Lott. I mean, that dude was probably the best to ever come out of USC in the secondary. Safety linebacker, like yeah. I mean, besides Troy, I mean Oh yeah, Troy Paul. Yeah, Troy Paul. Yeah, we can't we can't forget about Troy. He probably probably them too. Obviously, let, let me ask you this real quick: Are you keeping up with football today? Um, not as much. I, I'm starting to a lot more, man. When I first, when I first was done, I didn't really. I was just, I kept myself busy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I was doing a lot of work with my nonprofit. I stayed busy, so I wasn't watching. But now, I, and my son is into it a lot more. So, you know what I mean? We we've been finding time to to make sure we watch football on Sundays and stuff like that, and Saturdays too. So. What, what was your proudest moment, man, in, in your eight-year career? Proudest moment. My proudest moment, man, honestly, was outside of, like, getting drafted, man. That that was, like, you know what I mean? Like, that was, like, one of the biggest, biggest things that kind of happened. And other than, like, you know, being able to win a playoff game and, and get an interception in a playoff game, um, you know what I'm saying, to help, help the team win and go on to the next round. Um, going to Buffalo too, man. It's a crazy story. I yeah. my, I had a going to Buffalo was one of those scenes where nobody wants to go to Buffalo and play football. Right? Like, no. Ask like, Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, yes. And I don't even I don't even think he wanted to be there. At that bro, time. He, he said he said there was nothing but a Dave and Buster's, bro. It was nothing but Dave and Buster's, and that's where I was at probably every every weekend. Yeah. I was at Dave and Buster's in Buffalo, but. Um, but when I went up there to visit, man, obviously Leslie Frazier was my D coordinator there. Yeah. He was my DB coach in Baltimore the year before. And man, great coach, great, great coach. coach, man, great man. More yes. than anything, more mm -hmm. than anything, he's a great man. That's um, dope. man, I just and that's that meant more for me than them being the coach because when it came yeah. to that, it's a lot of that goes into coaching and politics yeah. and all that. Yeah. But as a man, Stu, Stu, Stu tells us about that all the time yeah. about politics, yeah, about the politics of it. And I understand that, but as a man, he was a great man and he called me, flew me out there, man, and set me down and talked to me about coming to Buffalo and just what they were planning on doing and you know, and not making it to the playoffs after what's. 17 years of not going to the playoffs and we yeah. had a great opportunity to, to to do that um with that team that we had and and i went there with that purpose to 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 help that team do that and i was yeah. able to we was able to get that done man and it's and it's something that's probably not talked about a lot but that was a big 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 like time that, that was, in, in buffalo football yeah. that's where they are now i mean yeah. that, that was that was the jump off to where they are now right, exactly yeah. and, and i that, just I yeah. just talked. They just they just hit me up, and I told them, man, I'm I'm thinking Super Bowl bound for Buffalo, man. If they keep playing the way they playing, coming out the AFC, man, it's it, it's 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 they. I mean, they were close last year. Oh, you, and, you you know, as a Raider, I'm gonna disagree with you. Yeah, of course, but better. <laughs> <laughs> but but hey, but hey, Buffalo looks nice, man. They hey, look hey. good, man. Like I said they if, they, if they if they they got a good they got a good quarterback, they got a good defense, they got a good coach in McDermott. Yeah. Um, you know, I can't take nothing away from him. Uh, he's yeah. a great coach. He has great experience. What, um, what, what was your experience with Lane Kiffin? <laughs> man, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's one of those things, man, where Lane, Lane, it's hard for me to like, it's hard for me to really like talk bad on Lane Kiffin. But yeah. I, to be to be honest, I have to because it's a lot of things I didn't agree with. But he loved me, like, yeah. right? And that well, was good. one thing about him. He had his favorite players that he favored, and yeah. it was obvious. And I was one of those guys. So that's good. I can't, I can't say he treated me wrong or did anything wrong to me, but the players around me and my peers and, and, and the guys that was in my in my class who, yeah. you know, he didn't play they last year at USC because he wanted to we couldn't even go to the bowl game that year, to be honest. Like to like, and he wasn't letting these seniors play who who yeah, decided to stay there. And this yeah. was their last opportunity to to get a crack at the league, and he yeah. didn't play them, and he should have. 
no matter what, just because this is their last opportunity. That affects futures right, right there, man. That, yeah. And that's just the truth. If you're thinking about you're trying to help these kids and, and not be selfish and, and give these kids an opportunity, you know, because they were caught in a situation that wasn't their fault. And Coach Carroll was, you know, he had to leave and all that stuff happening. Yeah. For those guys to stay there and you not play them and give them a, a, their last opportunity to get a crack at the league, you yeah, it, it hurt me because I was a captain and these yeah. guys were coming to me and I'm like, man, I can't go say nothing to that man because I don't yeah. need him dirty in my name. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Like, Damn. And talking bad about me and talking, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to make it out too. It's, it's my last year. So I was caught in a bond with Lane and, 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 and like I said, I, he, was, he just had his favorites, man. And he loved his players. He loved those guys. So he hey, loved hey, them. In a sense though, bro, like, you, you can you kind of say like the anxiety's gone now, not being in the league and dealing with the politics. <laughs> yes, man. Yes. It's, yes, it's crazy man. to think about it. like you're running like eight, nine businesses, but it, the life pressure it's, it's it ain't no pressure like that, man. And like and it's just I tell people, imagine like going to work every day and they recording everything you're doing from when you walk into the building to where you're out on the field, when you're in the classroom, and they every night. They getting they having a team meeting and a coaches meeting and they examining every player trying to figure out why we should cut this guy or is he helping us or is he good enough? Like you yeah. know what I mean? They're critiquing everything That's you crazy. do. Imagine being under that pressure every day at work, not knowing if you're gonna be there tomorrow or not, because they're releasing people, cutting people every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it's yeah. it's a stressful job, man, at that at a young age, like you said, it's it's a it's a lot of pressure, you know what I mean. That that's put on you. Like I said, that anxiety it, it left instantly. I felt yeah. free. <laughs> it was once I told myself I was done. I felt free for sure. Let me get these two chats in real quick. I got two questions for you before we before I let you go. I would love to have you come on at some point, also, man, and talk about some music. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, definitely. I, I said that because this next two. I, I, one second, Ryu says Escape from Wonderland in San Bernardino this weekend. Pull the food truck up, you will sell out. Oh, yeah, that that, that that's that raid. Yeah, 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 that's that raid. No, Joey, uh, he, he he's quoted one of my lyrics from my new song I got with Mozzie. Shout out to you, Joey. I shout appreciate out to Mozzie, man. Yeah, shout out to you. I gotta send have you heard that record? Uh uh. I gotta send it to you. You gotta hear it. Yeah, send it to me, man. Yeah. Me, Tell me, Mo Mozzie ain't been to the studio in a minute, man. Tell him to pull up on us, man. Yeah, me, me, him, fingers, and my brother still. We we did it, we did we got one of the ones, man. It's, it's yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it to you after this, bro. Definitely. Yeah. Um, what give these young guys, man? A lot of these young guys watch the show. They're young high schoolers. Um, they always come to me and ask me, you know, do I have any, you know, any words for them, encouragement? Look, I, I've never played outside of after high school. Um, what what is some like words of encouragement, words of wisdom that you can give these young guys on the way up? Uh, whether it's financial, like you know I mean, it could be anything. Like what 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 are some words you can give these young guys? coming up, looking to go through college and potentially make the NFL? Um, I mean, the biggest the biggest thing I can really, really tell them is to, like, understand, like, what it is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't get caught up in in, in, in the, the, the NFL. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you got to understand what type of business you're going into because it's business. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't anything outside of that. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's strictly business. And so they just got to understand and understand what it is. And like you said, and, 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 and understand it's not forever and it's not a guaranteed thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's like my, it's, it's the best advice I can give them. And it's just to stay open-minded about it. You know what I mean? And Definitely. a lot of guys, they, 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 they get caught up in, in just wanting to go to the NFL so bad. And it's just, it's it's only it's only fifteen hundred available spots every year. You know what I'm saying? There's That's about crazy. fifty thousand college athletes every year. You know what I'm saying? There's only fifteen hundred jobs available. I try to tell people that. So just think about that. And and there's, a, there's guys playing ten, fifteen years in there, so those spots ain't available during that time. Yeah. That those imagine the guys that are playing multiple years. You know what I mean? There's only fifteen hundred jobs. That's crazy, bro. You know what I mean? It's that's not crazy. a lot think at about all. That. Like, yeah, for you to say that out loud, that's crazy to think about that. It's only 1,500 jobs. That's wild. Like, that's that's like a, a one warehouse somewhere. Just a warehouse. That's it. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's as far as a, a player goes, right? Yeah, yeah. A, a player. Yeah. That's it. So that's, that's, and if you ain't coming in at no other angle, 
you got to get in within 1500 people that is and crazy. it's not even 1500 like i said because there's only like 500 spots available each year yeah that's maybe perfect. 300 spots available each year so when you look at it like that you know it makes it makes it puts it in perspective you know what i mean if you don't make it you got to understand that is it, it, life is bigger than the nfl man honestly yeah. it really is you know what I mean? you, you got two ints in the league i know one of them was one of us gets jay cutler right jay cutler um yeah and what one was the was, other one one was uh, in the playoffs so that one didn't count it was against uh Cincinnati and Andy Dalton in the playoffs against the Chargers. Uh, and then I had one against uh, Eli Manning when he was with the Giants. Okay. And uh, yeah. That, but see, that's, that's, that's something. I dropped, I dropped Peyton Manning like twice. <laughs> I oh, man. Man. I'm still sick about those man, to this day. Man. But like a Hall of Famer, like you can always run to your son and say, look, man, like I, I got to pick off one of these guys. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, Eli. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. That's yeah, that's so dope, man. Um, everybody, man, real quick, I want you if you can, man, shout just shout out what you got going. Where can we follow you at? Um, I know you're on Instagram. Where, where, where are you? Like, where, where's where's the easiest that everybody uh, the easiest is Instagram, man? Sharice Wright 2.0. Um, I, I pretty much promote everything on my page, everything that I'm doing as far as my gym, my uh, my rep, the the Brody Hannas, the the Everything I'm the barbershop, everything I'm doing, my nonprofit, everything I'm doing is, is on my on my um my Instagram. So right here, y'all. Yeah, so Reese Wright 2.0 on Instagram. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, my dog is always there. Man. Yeah, man. Tap in, man. I, I try to I try to be an open book and and yeah. be honest and be real about it, man. You know what I mean? I, I can't I don't want to sugarcoat things for nobody. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, and, 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 and I, we love that. We yeah, and that's that's just what it's about. You know what I mean? I said I had a lot of things to say about the NFL that I'm probably gonna write a book about. They probably gonna want to hang me when I'm done, but you know what I mean? It was crazy, bro. Like Stu, Stuart Schweiger comes on the show all the time, and he and he has a lot of shit to say as well. So it's it's just crazy, man, to see like you think you grow up playing football your whole life to get to this place, and then you realize. It's a business, and a lot of the love goes out of it from that that from that yeah. point, right? Because it doesn't love you back. Is imagine trying to love something and give it your all and hurt yourself and get shots every weekend, and it don't love you back. You know what I mean? Like That's imagine, crazy. imagine yeah. dedicating so much time and so much energy to something that can't love you back. There's no yeah. way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They go. It's on to the next. It's the next guy. There's your number. Who's next? You're hurt. Yeah. You're done. You retire. Next. We got about 1,500 corners that we got to look at. You know what I'm saying? We got to, and every week they working out about 15 corners every weekend, every week, yeah. every Tuesday, every Monday. Teams is working out, guys. You know what I mean? So it's a revolving door, man, and that's what you got to understand. And when that door closes, you got to be able to move on with your life. You know what I mean? And, and no, I'm still yeah, – I'm 34. I tell you, I can't wait till I'm 40 what I'm going to be able to accomplish by the time I'm 40 years old. The things right. that, that I'm going to be wow. able to – yeah, get done, man. you know what I mean? Because you only can accomplish things with time, you know what I mean? Definitely. And you still are you still a pup, man. You young yeah, as hell, still man. young, still young. Yeah. That, that's that's a blessing, man. Continue to do your thing, man. Continue to put in that work in the community, continue to run your businesses the way you're doing it, brother. Yes, sir. Uh, Thank great you. Great spirit, man. Great person. I would love at some point, like I said, to have you back on the show. Yeah, I would appreciate love to bring it. you on with Stu at some point. If that be yeah, possible. let's do it. Let's do it. Just let me know, man. Just let me yeah, know we can make that happen. I'm gonna set something up, and then I'll just give you a time and a place. I'll make, I'll put something together, thumbnail, and let's let's get us three all on and, and talk some football. That'd be great, yes, man. Yes, sir. Sounds good, my brother. I appreciate. I you. appreciate I'm gonna you that man. right now too. Yeah, love, my brother. All yeah. right, man. Shout out to my boy Sharice, man. That's my guy, man. Good, 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 good guy, man. Good, good people, man. Um, you guys make sure to go to Instagram and follow him. I'm telling you guys now, he does so much amazing work outside of football it's just insane man it's insane i didn't want to keep him too much because i he, he would have talked with me longer but i don't i don't his phone was going off the hook he runs a bunch of businesses i, don't, I didn't want to keep him away from that but um we're definitely going to bring him back and i would love like i said get him and stew together that'd be a great show to have them two talk together man that would be fire um shout to the chat man as always i appreciate you guys uh for being here and uh pulling up and and, and, and enjoying you know, enjoying this with me because I enjoyed it, man. I love talking to new people. Um, for those who don't know, you know, I've been 
Uh, me, me, me and Sharice have been chopping it up for over a year. You know, saying on IG over the phone, he's good people. Like I said, uh, it was kind of first awesome music shit. You know what I mean? So uh, if you guys are in the Southern California area, LA, San Bernardino, Fontana, um, definitely reach out to him if you need barbershop, you need food, you need a studio. I know there's a lot of artists in the uh, in the chat, man. Definitely reach out to him, um, man. With that being said, man, I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I was supposed to do two shows tonight. I was going to do the one with Scout. I'm exhausted, you guys. We did a long three and a half hour show last night. Then I went and jumped on Stu's live. He was live for about six and a half hours. So this weekend, I'm taking off. I'm going to go spend some time with my wife and my kids, do the Halloween thing, and we'll come back with a coffee and convo come Monday. Um, with that being said, I'll definitely still be dropping some, uh, you know, some short, some short hits. Dropping a few videos here and there, but the lives will not return until Monday. Like I said, I'm going to go spend some time with my family, man. I hope you guys do the same thing. Enjoy your Halloweens. Enjoy your family, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'm always going to say that. I love you guys. We may all not agree on, all, on everything all the time, but guess what? We a family, and we're going to deal with each other. You know what I mean? With that being said, man, love y'all. Appreciate you guys one more time, man. We out.